so welcome guys to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, the Scarander. <laughs> so right guys, this is actually quite an old battle that I had during the time that uh, Crocodile was to be considered RU at the moment. Uh, I'm going against a guy who is known as OU Brandon, uh, for, you know, for the name of it, uh, pr it pretty much shows. Though it, it doesn't got like that too many OU, the only thing is Conkeldor at the moment, and I think the rest is either UU at this time, or actually RU. At least that will go for both Dusk Gloves as being a part of NU, and Soror, which it was definitely RU at the moment. I myself is using almost RU Pokes, actually Chestnut was considered RU at the moment too. Um, I think both Chestnut and Crocodile got the fast boot out of there and, and became a part of the UU. But nevertheless, I mean, introducing my team here, it's, it's a few weeks old and it's a part of the team that I built when I was using hazards, like a lot, a lot of hazards. So nevertheless, I have Heroisk with the Volt Switch spec set, or I think it's live at this moment. Chestnut setting up Spikes, Steelix, Walling, Stealth Rocks, uh, Slurpuff, which is using Red Card, Calm Mind, Crocodile, you know how this works. Scarf set, a late game, great sweep at the moment, and Rogaldi with Toxic Spike, Dragon Tail. And well, Brandon's using tough pose. I mean, just look at him. I'm definitely fair in Digger Speed. I mean, that guy is tough. So now let's actually get to it. So in the beginning here, I just really wanted to play it safe. So I'm just going to go over to Kill Uh I don't know if this is the Mew or if this is the Soror. So I decided to not go for a Volt Switch and just go for Dark Pulse. Just do some neutral damage if that's the case. Luckily for, luckily for me, he's going for uh, Digger Speed, which takes a lot of damage there. Uh, and I have to head to Hotswood here because I do expect this thing to be Scarfed. So Chestnut can definitely deal with this and um, yeah, it's somewhat in a good position. And from that damage, I definitely know it's probably Scarfed because it has to switch out after that. So at this point, I just decided to go for Leeches, knowing that he will most likely switch out. And uh, well, Chest at this point can just, you know, stall whatever it really is in. So, yeah, feeling somewhat frisky here. So while he's setting up to the stealth box, I'm going to decide to go for spikes, actually. So I see no reason to really switch out because I have no, like, real reason to have Chestnut around. I do expect, you know, if it was a Soror, that he would probably go for a flamethrower. So he will lock me here with a taunt so I can't go for any more spikes. Which is going to be annoying, but then again, I mean, I can wall this guy. I have no concern of actually being around. So I just decided to go for a wood hammer. And it does a lot of damage on Dust Up there. Like, really, really a lot. So, obviously, um, I can't go for Spikes and like that. I don't want to stay in for a Will Waste, but that's the case. So, going to Sylvie, trying to set up Toxic Spikes instead. So, yeah, like I said, this was actually during the part where I was using just Hazard teams. Which, you know, it's working really well. But the sad part about it is that it is not. I mean, the opponent, if it isn't having a Defogger or Rapid Spinner, is having a really, really hard time dealing with it. So anyway, I'm setting up two layers of spikes there. And at this point, Frogolio is somewhat useless and have no means of actually going for you no know, real attacks or anything. I could go for Dragon Tail, but I just decided I might as well switch out here. Going to Saladin. I know that uh, the um, Digger Spits is around, so I'm just gonna go for Dark Walls. And unlucky for him, he do miss the Will O Wisp, which wouldn't have mattered too much. Uh, so he decides to switch out, I mean, that is actually really fine, because I actually decided to go for a full switch anyway here. Uh, because it stayed in the first turn there. So, going into my, um, <laughs> Sunday here. Sandy can't really do anything, um, just gonna set up a call mine, which is a very safe move because of the, um, red card set that I got. So I take around 50% there, which really sucks, Cockler is really strong, so you know, we have to deal with that. So, activating my unburden here makes me double as fast as I need to, which in turn will also mean that even though it is a scarf set, it won't outspeed it and uh, I can just go for a safe surf here. So, yeah. Feeling, feeling, feeling really, really, really good there at the moment. So, anyway, I see no reason to switch out. I'm just gonna go for Death Moving. Think I can take it out? I cannot. Just gonna go for Pain Split, pretty much recover <laughs> the things that he lost there. And the Toxic won't do as much damage as I was kind of hoping. So, he's going for another one. He was actually survive that and go for the will wisp which is great in his part because now it's a position where I actually can't stay in and try to sweep with this so I actually decided to I wanted to at least try to get a 6 at this point so I'm just gonna re um, <laughs> redraw my Sunday here and go with my Terminator which is a scarf set with um, well the moxie boost 
And this is where you, how you use Crocodile. You use it late game. Never, never use it as a starter and try to sweep somebody because they will just see right through you. So at this point, uh, I am faster than anything on his team. I did expect him to maybe go for a sucker punch here. And I don't know if that could be in the range of taking me out. And I don't get to find that out because this is what we actually one shot it. And I get in the box boost, so. Mmm, yeah! <laughs> so anyway, here is the Mew. Uh, I fought. So it has the Lumberry, which was kind of cool. So go from that quick, and this will actually be the Sorark. So that is Sora out of the way, so now I actually get to see the Mew. Um, so most likely in the beginning there, the Mew that I was starting off with was uh, the Sora. So anyway... So right, anyway Brandon, you know, thank you for this game. Uh, it is a few like months back. It was a very interesting game because I really liked using Crocodile, but it wasn't RU. He definitely wasn't really close or too strong for it, and I think this battle pretty much shows it. Being a late game sweeper is exactly what it does really, really well, and he had no means of stopping at that moment. And other than that, I mean, really cool seeing um, Mega Absol. I think the first time so I saw it, so I think this was like in Mars, maybe. So I've been playing the games for four months <laughs> while that was happening. So, anyway, guys, this, the reason I don't decide to upload a new battle here today is because I had three battles today that was, you know, not as fun to be watching, or even the person that did. Or simply wasn't like fun games to watch because you know even though I win I mean I could upload wins every time but I want those unique battles and well some days you don't get them and I mean the game where I upload a guy that I went against that was from GameFAQs that game sucked and it was really boring so I just wanted to upload this battle it was one of those battles I couldn't really upload because it was a part of a higher tier but obviously since I had that UU week it is actually did just fine so nevertheless, guys, you know, don't forget to leave a like. Uh, it definitely helps me out here. And also, I will upload soon to the Phoenix Master 1 here. Uh, a battle which I had not too long ago because, I, well, he's on vacation and I wanted people to help me out with uploads. So I'll actually be a part of that. I will link that battle <laughs> on my next videos. So nevertheless, guys, you know, thank you for all the support. And, you know, thank you for watching and everything like that. And have a nice day, everyone. So right. Bye.